Hello everyone, I'm Jackie Fenske with 360 Alberta. Today I'm here with Candace Kalin and uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about MP Len Weber's new bill. It was a private member's bill and uh, what he is hoping to have happen is to be able to have everyone in Canada sign their income tax return and donate their organs uh, or indicate they're willing to donate their organs by signing that form. And I know it's off to committee, but we've got a story that's close to near and dear to my heart, certainly closer to what Candace is having to deal with every day. Candace, uh, you have a young daughter, Cecily, who was the recipient of a, of a heart. Can you tell us as a mom of uh, first child, what that experience was like. So the day we were told about her diagnosis, our world completely stopped. We were slowly moving through this fog of uncertainty and anger um, whilst being thrusted on this roller coaster ride of congenital heart disease. Um, when she was two weeks old, she went on ECMO heart and lung life support, essentially as a machine that does the work of the heart and lungs to give the body a break so that it can recover from a critical event. Um, thankfully, she was only on life support for a week. Um, we were elated the day that she was able to wean herself off of life support, and then we were told she needed a heart transplant. Um, so the test began for her uh, to see if she'd be eligible to be listed. And uh, I was oddly thankful when she was eligible. Uh, she was listed for transplant, and a week later, she received her new heart. But that was just the beginning of a very long journey. And can you tell us uh, a little bit, as a parent, some of the things that, that you've had to go through so that we can prepare other parents who may be going through that? Well, it's completely flipped my idea or the idea I thought I had of motherhood. It's completely flipped it upside down. Um, everything is backwards. Um, we have to think differently. We have to protect her and her new heart and honor the family who decided to donate their child's organs so that other families can go on and live their lives. Um, congenital heart disease is a lifelong disease. There's no cure, there's no cure. Transplant is not a cure. Um, at some point, uh, she may need to be re-transplanted and we'll go through the cycle again, but every day, we think about transplant, we give her medications, and we try and protect her from the world outside and the germs, especially now with flu season and RSV season. We just try and keep her stable and happy and growing. What can we do as a community to help parents who, um, who do have their children in the stallery? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I suppose just being, if you have a friend or a family member, just being there, um, giving them what they need to survive, essentially. I, I always joked when we were uh, admitted in the hospital, I always said, I just wanted someone to wash my car and put gas in it and clean it out. Um, so simple things, you know, such as maybe putting gas in their car, giving them a gas card, uh, Tim Hortons gift card, a letter, a visit, some coffee, and just letting them know that you're there supporting them, not just by saying it maybe on a Facebook post, but actually doing something and, and showing your, your support that way. Candice, what is your message for people? What would you like to t say to our audience that is essential to keeping Cecily health healthy and keeping other children healthy? Well, there are a lot of children like Cecily in our area. Um, to do your part, you can get your flu shot, wash your hands um, consistently, um, and vaccinate. Vaccinate your children, make sure you're vaccinated, and if you're sick, stay home. Uh, don't go out if you um, aren't feeling well, because uh, you could potentially pose a risk to elderly children who are immunocompromised and, and you know, babies. Candace, through all of this, you've kept a bit of a blog of your journey and Cecily's journey. Can you tell us how we could access that so we can hear, uh, so we can read firsthand about what you've gone through? So it's cecilyroseheart.blogspot.com. Uh, I started writing it for myself and for Cecily to potentially read one day. My family started reading it and started to get a better understanding of what we went through 
Um, some of the questions that they had throughout this whole process were, was answered. And I thought, oh, well, maybe other people have the same questions or other people are going through similar circumstances. So I shared it on my social media and it's been a great outlet um, for me to deal with the hard times. We've been here with Candace Kalen and I'm Jackie Fenske. It's 360 Alberta and we'll see you again next time.